Hi, we are the Moment Makers. In this video, we will be talking about the LEGO Education Spike Essential Set in detail with the building pieces, software to teach programming, and unit plans provided by LEGO Education. You can have fun learning and building LEGO machines and motorizing them with your own programs with the help of LEGO minifigures Maria, Daniel, Sophie, and Leo. The Spike Essential Set comes with a full-size LEGO storage bin. The set also comes with stickers to apply to your trays to help organize bricks by color. We weren't sure how we felt about this when we first opened the set because we are used to sorting by piece type. However, when we started using the set by trying out some of the unit lessons, we found that the sorting by color worked really well. Sorting by color can help younger kids find pieces easily while following the unit plan instructions. The extra room helps prevent overcrowding of LEGO pieces, which would have made it harder to dig and find the correct pieces. Also, this new kit comes with an extra pieces box, in case pieces are lost when building. These extra pieces will be especially helpful when these sets are used for schools and camps, where pieces may accidentally roll away or become lost. You could also simply choose to use these pieces to make your builds bigger and better. The hardware included in this set are the Spike Essential Hub, a light matrix, two small angular motors, and a color sensor. The new Spike Essential Hub has an embedded gyro sensor similar to the Spike Prime Hub. The gyro measures the hub's tilt angle. Technically, it is a three-axis gyroscope and a three-axis accelerometer. With these, it can detect tap, free fall, and shake. Unlike the Spike Prime, the Spike Essential Hub only has two ports, labeled A and B. These ports can be used to plug in either a motor, a sensor, or the 3x3 light matrix. The small angular motor in the Spike Essential set is pretty exciting since it is so compact, making it easier to fit into LEGO robotic builds. Looking at the technical specifications, the small angular motor has significantly less torque and speed than the other spike motors. However, if you don't need a lot of torque or speed for your application, or need to fit a motor in a very small space, this motor is perfect for you. The color sensor that comes with this set is the same as the color sensor from the Spike Prime set, with no new functions. The new light matrix has 9 separate LEDs that can be changed to 10 different colors. This new light matrix makes up for the Spike Essential Hub itself not having a light matrix. This light matrix holds many opportunities for showing light displays, such as a disco light for a dance party. All of Spike hardware from both Spike Prime and Spike Essential can be used together. For example, Spike Prime can use the light matrix and Spike Essential can use the touch sensor. Also, you can buy Spike hardware separately through LEGO Education. The Spike Essential comes with many new pieces, including the light matrix, the small angular motor, as well as some other special pieces that are worth discussing. The new small wheel piece is five holes in diameter, differing from the other wheels that came with the Spike Prime, such as the medium spike wheel, which is seven holes in diameter, and the large spike wheel, which is 11 holes in diameter. This wheel is just as sturdy as the other spike wheels and will be helpful when making small robots. All three of these wheels have the advantage of having their diameters to be exact to a beam hole size, aiding greatly in making level robots. There is also a really cool new stud to connector piece. This piece is similar to the older stud to connector piece, but instead of a stud protruding out of the connector, it has a hole for a Lego stud to connect. This piece is very helpful for attaching beams, and the Spike Essential Hub itself, to plates. One thing that is really cool about the Lego Spike series is that both the Spike Prime and the Spike Essential are programmed in the same software. This will allow for users to easily transition from the Spike Essential, geared for ages 6 and up, to the Spike Prime, geared for ages 10 and up. When you first enter the Spike programming software, you will choose which ro robot that you are using, but we will only be focusing on the Spike Essential today. After selecting the Spike Essential, you can still change which robot you are using mid-session by going to the top right of the home screen and clicking Spike Essential. A drop-down will then show where you can swap what robot you are using. Here in the Spike Essential home screen, you can click on Start to follow tutorials on each of the motors and sensors, click on Units to follow the unit plans grouped by theme and target grade level, click on Build to build Spike Essential models from the unit plans, or you can click on My Projects to view projects of your own. We are going to start a new project to talk through the newer Icon Blocks programming. The Icon Blocks format is a newer programming option, which is very similar to the old WeDo programming software that has all icons and no words. It is much easier to use and understand for a younger age range using Spike, especially for those still working on reading skills. 
In this video, we will be focusing on the icon blocks. The other programming format that you can use is the word blocks, which is very similar to the Scratch programming language. If your class were to be switching between Spike Essential and Spike Prime, know that both of these languages are compatible with both Spike hubs. This makes transitioning fr from Spike Essential to Spike Prime easier with a familiar programming language. Back in the Spike Essential home screen, you can make a new project to build an experiment as you wish. After clicking New Project, just select your preferred programming format. Again, we will be choosing the icon blocks today. You can also name your project before hitting the Create button to open the programming software. After opening the newly created project, you will see that the different types of blocks are sorted by five main tabs. Events, yellow, motors, blue, light display, purple, sound, lavender, and control, orange. You can drag different blocks out of the bottom to use in your code. The yellow events tab has blocks that would start a line of code, such as a when program is played block that looks like a play button. Another event block example is the when sees color block. This will start the connected code whenever the color sensor detects the selected color. The next block is the gyro tilt block. It plays the connected program when the internal gyro is tilted in the specified direction. The audio level block plays the code following it when the volume detected by the computer's microphone is higher than the specified level. The receive message block plays the code after it when another line of code sends a message of the corresponding color. The last event block is the send message block. The sent message will trigger the code after the receive message block of the same color. Note that there are only six different colors to distinguish messages from one another. The blue motors tab has blocks that can control moving and stopping the motors. The first block listed is the motor speed block that sets the motor at the desired power for any following motor blocks. The second and third blocks run the motor in either the clockwise or counterclockwise direction for the number of rotations inputted. Quarters of a rotation can be specified when selecting the number of rotations. The last motor block stops all current motor movement. The purple light tab has blocks that can control the 3x3 light matrix. The first allows for very specific color patterns. The second creates a random color pattern. The Lavender Sounds tab has blocks that can play different music and sound effects. The first block plays animal sounds. The second plays sound effects. And the third plays music tracks. Students can experiment to learn the different number codes from sounds. They can, either, they can even record a sound if they want. Please note that these will only play over your computer or iPad. No sound comes from the Spike Essential itself. <laughs> Lastly, the orange control tab has other blocks that help control the program. The first block, the wait block, counts until the num inputted number of seconds have elapsed before continuing to the rest of the program. Decimal values are allowed. The second block, the loop block, repeats the code inside for a number of times specified. The third block, the forever loop block, repeats the code inside forever until the program is stopped manually by a user or until the individual script line is stopped. The last block is the stop block. It stops any other lines of code running. For example, a program could be told to repeat something forever after pressing the play button. However, another line of code could you Use the stop block to stop the other line of code if the color sensor were to see red. Please note that these blocks we mentioned are only the blocks available when using the Spike Essential Hub. Some additional and different icon blocks are available when you select using the Spike Prime blocks instead. You can click on the three dots by the block extension button to choose if you want blocks for a different Spike Hub. Of course, the blocks are set to the blocks capable with the with the hub currently selected, but if you are changing hubs mid-session, you can change the type of blocks here. However, some blocks for the Spike Prime are not compatible with the Spike Essential and vice versa, 
so be careful to use the correct flux with the correct hub. An example incompatible block would be the 5x5 light matrix on the spike prime brick itself. It does not exist for the spike essential. You can also get display, bar graph, and movement blocks by clicking on the block extension icon at the bottom right corner and choosing which blocks groups that you would like to add. This will give your students more options for both hubs. We talk more in depth about the different Spike Essential icon blocks in our article, New LEGO Sp Education Spike Essential Set, on our website. Some blocks have a downward pointing arrow or a number on them. Blocks with an arrow, such as the Wensi's color block, have different options to choose from when clicking on the arrow pop-up. In this case, we would choose what color we are looking for. Blocks with a number, such as the weight block, are preset with a number, but you can change the value by clicking on the number and typing something else in. In this case, you can choose how long you want to wait. You can click on the three dots on the program selected to rename the project, save the project to your computer, or to move the project. Please note that it is not necessary to save projects to your computer, as the Spike application saves each program automatically, even when closing the application. Other programs that you are working on will appear as different tabs at the top that you can switch between. You can close a program by hitting the X button on the Program tab. This does not delete the program, but temporarily closes it. If you close all open programs, you will be sent to a screen where you can go back to home or create another new project. You can drag around your block canvas on the screen by holding down your mouse to look around at different code. You can delete blocks by dragging them down into the block menu area in the bottom of the screen. You can also press the zoom out and zoom in buttons at the bottom left to help you see your code, whether big or small, easier. You can reset the zoom to the standard zoom size by pressing the zoom to fit button at the bottom left, which recenters your code and undoes any zoom features. There are also undo and redo buttons at the bottom left. You can collapse this menu at the bottom left with the arrow to the side. Click the yellow connect button to see how to connect your hub using USB or Bluetooth. After connecting your, your hub, you can use the play and stop buttons at the bottom right to make your program start or stop the program. Back in the home screen, you can manage your projects more easily by going into the My Projects tab on the left where you can search for and look at all of your different projects. You can click the three dots on one specific project to delete it, duplicate it, rename it, or move it. The Spike app also comes with unit plans to help kids have guided build and programming work to solve challenges with the Spike Essential. In the Spike Home menu, you can click on the Units tab on the left bar where you can pick different unit plan themes. Different themes are geared for different grade levels. Some units use word blocks to program, whereas others use icon blocks. The themes also have covered subjects listed. After clicking on one of the themes, it will show the unit plans LEGO Education has put together for this theme. You do not need to do the units in order. Clicking on the More button, you can see each unit's brief description, difficulty level, target grade level, estimated time, and requirements. When you are ready to start a unit plan, just click on the picture. Each unit starts with a story explaining the challenge. Next, it gives building instructions to create a machine to solve the problem. Then, it moves on to programming. Each unit plan describes what the LEGO build must do to complete the task successfully. The programming editor only gives students the necessary blocks to complete the challenge. Students will experiment to figure out how to make the Spike Essential complete the task. Lastly, it gives ideas to modify the machine or make it your own, and allows you to now use all of the programming blocks. Our favorite part is this end section of adjusting the build and program to make it your own and have added functionality.
This is a video of the basic unit plan snack stand working. This is a video of our customized version of the snack stand working. We really liked how kids can use the same Spike app to transition to the Spike Prime after they learn programming and building concepts using the Spike Essential. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to contact us on our website if you have any questions or comments.